Hello everyone. This is Ritika. I'm extremely glad to see you all like always. So, tell me, do you feel nervous when it comes to speak at length and that is why you feel scared that you won't be able to deal with speaking part 2? Is it? Yes. Then don't worry. This is our today's topic. What we are going to do is I will be sharing two videos where my students are speaking a cue card and then later we will analyze how they have performed so that you can understand what are the do's and don'ts you need to follow while dealing with speaking part 2 okay in the end we'll also predict the band score on the basis of their performance but before all this let us understand what is i speaking and how does it work So the students who are entirely new to IELTS see IELTS exam is divided into four modules right listening reading writing speaking speaking out of all these four it is the shortest among all it goes for 11 to 14 minutes it's actually a personal interview one to one interview with the trained examiner the test is divided into three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 part 1 is general introduction where examiner wants to know more about you whether you work you study your choices what you like what you dislike your friends family basically everything about you part 2 is where you will be given a topic and you need to speak for a 2 minute that we will be discussing today in this video and then part 3 where you will be involved in a follow up discussion with the examiner on the unfamiliar topics up unfamiliar doesn't mean that examiner will ask you rocket science no not at all basically the theme of part 3 will be related to the topic that you have got in your part 2 okay so now let's talk about speaking part 2 now speaking part 2 is a cue card round so here what happens in this part you will be given a written prompt yes a written prompt unlike part 1 and part 3 where you will be listening the questions okay but here in part 2 you will be getting a written prompt you need to read that question carefully topic i would say okay read the topic carefully and then you need to speak on the topic for 2 minutes and you know something amazing you need to speak for 2 minutes but for those 2 minutes you will be given a minute to prepare your notes so utilizing that one minute efficiently is very important if you will lose that one minute no then definitely it will become challenging for you to add up the information okay also you will notice here examiner will say you should speak on this topic for a minute or two i would suggest practice in such a way that you will speak for at least you know more than 1 minute 30 seconds better to keep going till the time examiner won't stop you in the cue card round okay so this is the brief about cue card now let us watch our first cue card video meanwhile i'll be making notes that how the student is performing okay so go for it So my topic is one web series that I have recently watched. One web series that I have recently watched is Rick and Morty. Uh, it is available on the famous OTT platform Netflix. And why I like it is because uh, the duration of each episode is only twenty minutes, and it perfectly blends into my busy schedule. So whenever I am having my lunch or dinner. or just before sleeping i watch one episode of it and it really entertains me a lot uh how i started watching it was uh as a child i used to watch a lot of comic shows and whether it be spider man batman shinchan doremon i used to watch them all and just by surfing on netflix one day i uh saw that there's a comical show available for adults that was rick and morty that's how i got hooked to the show uh the show is the show has a story about how a grandfather and grandson goes about different scientific adventures throughout different universes and in the mean process in the meantime the grandfather tries to teach morty about life lessons uh, so in one particular episode they go to a different universe where the morty gets lost uh, and there were numerous number of different mortys available there so grandfather had to protect his own morty and also uh, take him back safely to his own universe 
in the meantime in that universe they had different characters like birdman aliens who were all trying to kill the grandfather and his grandson morty uh, that is the basic story of the show currently the show has 5 seasons and every season has 10 episodes uh, i am currently on the 5th season and i am about to finish it every year they release a new season so i'll be eagerly waiting for the new season next year meanwhile while i finish this comic show another web series that i am a huge fan of was game of thrones and their new prequel has come which is called house of dragons so when as i finish rick and morty i'll also be watching that um uh, i i really enjoy the stories which are based on george r r martin's book and yeah so these are the two web series that i am currently watching wow student did a pretty good job i liked it the way he spoke now let us assess this cue card on the basis of our four speaking assessment criteria the very first is fluency and coherency if i talk about fluency then of course the student was quite confident he was quite fluent and i believe fluency is something you know uh it is because the student put himself in the prompt okay he talked about his past experiences in present which web series he is watching and he included all the details that he specifically liked about the topic and that is why it became easier for him to keep going i know he made few fumbles in between the cue card but that is quite natural no even native speakers also make fumbles for example if i speak in hindi to hota hai na we make fumbles in between so it is quite natural till the time you are not making fumbles because you are falling short of language you won't lose your band okay but it doesn't mean that you're like mm, mm. we are taking these pauses no those slight pauses are absolutely natural now moving on to coherency for coherency i would say organization could have been better there was lack of linkers whenever you speak in exam no try to organize your content properly for example student could have added like apart from this additionally some linkers were missing that is why i believe coherency was bit disturbed but overall it was good moving on to our next scoring criteria and that is lexical resource which means vocabulary it was good student used some great expressions like perfectly blends into hook to the show okay so great expressions he used apart from this he also used great words for spoken english they go there is always a difference between the word selection when it comes to written english and spoken english okay so student made good choice of words he was quite confident and swiftly he was using different words and examples so it was overall a great job done Now moving further the next criteria is grammatical range and accuracy. If we will focus on grammatical accuracy then he was quite accurate. Okay with the grammatical structures that he used. Now if I talk about grammatical range then variety he used simple sentences he used complex sentences at places he used passive sentences also he made use of collocations so a wide variety of grammatical structures were present. so amazing job done here as well apart from this did you notice what student did he used ppf private provident fund in ielts speaking is it no ppf is past present future one of the excellent way to get along with your content or story what he did he started story with past okay like what doremon shin chan what cartoons he used to watch and then he brought that story to present okay so now this particular web series he watches and what is the story everything and then he took it to future as well these two web series he will be watching in future also so this is one of the excellent way to extend your content and i'll speaking okay so he did a pretty good job okay so the last scoring criteria is pronunciation now when i talk about pronunciation i would say that student was quite accurate with the pronunciation he spoke out the words very nicely correctly no level 1 interference was there it was overall good apart from that he was not sounding monotonous 
right? He was quite expressive. There were different tone modulations that we could sense. So overall, the student did an amazing job. And yes, he's well deserved band 7.5 or higher in IELTS speaking if he will be speaking this cue card in exam. But overall band score, of course, it depends at how you have performed in part one and part three also. So what you observed, the mantra to get a higher band score in IELTS speaking is to sound more confident, more fluent and more natural. Okay, so this is it from my side today. I wish you all the very best for your exam. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye bye.